What is going on guys? Welcome to Rocking with Robbie. This is the first ever episode on this channel. I'm very excited about this. I'm going to explain what this channel is all about and uh, what you can expect from it and you can learn a little bit about me in the process and uh, it's probably going to make you cringe a little and make you uncomfortable, but that's what life's all about. Now what is the goal of this channel? It's pretty simple. I want to form a community of rockers. I love rock music, so I just want to bring all these rockers together so we can kind of, you know, rule the fucking world. Now like I said, I'll make you feel uncomfortable and I'll make you feel weird and I'll make you cringe a lot, but that's just who I am. I am the cringiest person I know. So get used to it, I guess. But in all seriousness, the goal of the channel is to really form a community of rockers, uh, whether you like you know, bluesy rock, punk rock, more modern rock, older rock. Uh, the rock I grew up with as a kid, I listened, or my parents, I should say, listened to a lot of Eagles and uh, Fleetwood Mac, Stevie Nicks, and things like that, Leonard Skinner. And uh, Journey, Boston, Foreigner, Queen, which is one of my favorite bands ever. Queen is so unbelievably incredible. Then when I got a little bit older, I was introduced to 90s music like Stone Temple Pilots and Soundgarden. Pearl Jam and Nirvana, which are just all incredible bands, uh, especially Nirvana and Pearl Jam. I fucking love those bands. Those bands are so great. And then, you know, even growing up with modern music, I actually really love modern rock. A lot of people don't. Uh, I think it's some of the most underrated and underappreciated rock. We have so many great bands today that I think don't get enough recognition. Uh, my favorite band of all time, actually, is Breaking Benjamin. I love that band. I'm obsessed with them. I think Ben Burnley is one of the most talented songwriters ever. I uh, love the way their music has an eerie, kind of chaotic feel. My sister actually got me that art piece for Christmas, which is really cool, of Ben Burnley. And if you don't believe I'm a fucking fan of Breaking Benjamin, I'm going to show you something. This is my first tattoo I've ever gotten. It is the old Breaking Benjamin logo. Uh, didn't feel right getting the new one. I wanted to get the older one because that's the one I kind of grew up with. But uh, fucking love that band. I'm obsessed. But then there's other great modern rock bands as well, like Disturbed and Seether. And My Darkest Days only made like two albums, but I really liked them. And then that lead singer went on to Three Days Grace after Adam Gontier left. Three Days Grace is another incredible band. Uh, not as good anymore. They're okay now. Um, my whole thing with Three Days Grace is I thought... Uh, the, lead, the new lead singer of Three Days Grace was better in My Darkest Days, and Adam Gontier was better in Three Days Grace, opposed to, opposed to his new band. You also have bands like Alter Bridge, which totally kind of captures that old school rock feel, um, and I love Alter Bridge. Their new album is incredible. Last Hero, so good. Champion? That's a real song? Oh my fucking god, go listen to that. But then you also have some more alternative modern rock music that I think doesn't get enough recognition as well. I just listened to the band um, The Temperance Movement, if you've ever heard of them. And if you haven't looked them up, I don't think they have a huge following. I'm pretty sure they open for the Rolling Stones in some concerts or something like that. I could, I could be wrong. Please don't scream at me. But their new album, White Bear, is fucking fantastic. One of my favorite albums uh, in a while, so check that out. So I like a lot of different types of rock. So with Rocking with Robbie, you can expect rock reviews, you can expect rock news. I won't cover all rock news, but like bigger stories, like if somebody's like, hey, we're making a fucking album, I'll probably talk about it. Uh, rock topics, countdowns. It's just a channel dedicated to talking about rock music, which I think YouTube just needs this. And of course, I want you guys to help me guide this channel in the comments. You can tell me what albums you want me to review, what uh, you want me to talk about, if there's a news story you want my opinion on, leave in the comments and I'll talk about it. Now obviously I can't talk about every comment, but I'll try my best. I really will. If you want to get to know me a little bit better, a couple other fun facts. Uh, I guess we could talk about movies, right? Some of my favorite movies are comedies. I love comedies. Step Brothers is fucking hilarious. Talladega Nights, fucking hilarious. And then the most underappreciated music movie of all time, people. 
Tenacious D and the Pick of Destiny. If you have not seen this movie, you need to watch this. It is so fucking funny and the music is really well put together. And obviously Jack Black and Kyle Gass are still doing the Tenacious D band, which is hilarious. And you should definitely check them out if you haven't. Uh, I'm sure most of you probably have because they're, they're pretty popular for their kind of really funny tongue-in-cheek music. Uh, they are hilarious and I love them. Other fun facts, I live in Nevada, uh, 20 years old, I'm engaged and have a fiance. Uh, a lot of people say I'm kind of young for that, but we've been together for like three years. So uh, we've known each other a long time and she's awesome. I'm also a huge gamer. I love Nintendo games, especially Nintendo, Xbox, PlayStation, I play it all. I actually was doing a gaming channel before I started this channel, um, but it didn't feel like it was going anywhere. So I uh, kind of had to shut it down, which is really sad. But now I can focus on this and I'm really excited for this new chapter. So hopefully now that you know me a little bit better and you've heard my spiel on my channel, um, you know what to expect. We can all rock together and we can talk about these new albums and we can talk about, you know, rock news and rock topics. I'd love to do countdowns, um, you know, like best Breaking Benjamin songs or something like that. Um, top 10 lists and things like that. I'm really excited for this. Sadly, this video is coming to an end. I'm going to miss the two or three of you that have watched this video. Um, if any of you have come from my gaming channel and are now watching this, you are awesome. I want you to know that. So, uh, if this channel sounds interesting to you, give this video a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos. There's a bunch of rock albums dropping right in January, right now. Literally today, three albums dropped. So, uh, I'm gonna try to review most rock music in the year. I think if I focus on just rock, I can review most of the rock albums, which I'm really excited about. So, if you want to see rock reviews and things like that, Subscribe to this channel, join the community, and together we can rock. And always remember guys, rock on!